I forgot to include this little nice diagram um, on the the left, second part of the nervous system. Well, this is a nice flow chart that kind of shows um, how the nervous system is organized and how one system relates to another. So again, your nervous system has two main parts. The central nervous system that includes your brain and spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system is everything else. So like um, the nerves that come out of your skull, the cranial nerves, and your spinal nerves, um, the ner which are the nerves that are coming off the spinal cord. The peripheral nervous system has two main um, categories. Sensory neurons, so those are the neurons that are responding, they are collecting information from um, internal, external stimuli, so like um, your eyes have sensory neurons, your ears have sensory neurons, your skin there's sensory neurons, um, mouth has sensory neurons, um, so those are going to relay information back to the nervous system, or the central nervous system. The, the prefix A means to, to or to go towards. So this is going towards your brain. The motor neurons are going away from your brain. So the prefix E for words means to go away. Um, so motor neurons are going from your brain, spinal cord, to um, like muscle, um, organs. So motor neurons are going away from the central nervous system, sending information from the central nervous system to whatever is being targeted, again, like muscles, organs. The motor um, nervous system has got two categories. We have somatic, which are your voluntary movements that are controlling skeletal muscles, and the autonomic nervous system, which again are involuntary movements. So the autonomic system has two categories, sympathetic parasympathetic. Sympathetic is for stress, so like um, it starts with an S, so fight or flight, so something's chasing you, it's sympathetic, or you got a pop quiz, or you have a big final approaching, um, the sympathetic nervous system kicks in there, so it's when you start to feel all nervous and sweaty. The parasympathetic nervous system is rest and digestion, so whenever you're at ease, um, which is for the, hopefully most of your time of day you're at kind of at ease so your parasympathetic nervous system is for that. Both of these sympathetic and parasympathetic target you know cardiac muscles to either slow down or to speed up your heart. Um, smooth muscles which are like your organs okay um, so things that are not your actual skeletal muscles so heart muscle, organ muscles, glands so like um, um, like pancreas, things like that. Um, okay, so that was just to continue from the last one. All right, now we're done.